good morning. Uh, just woke up. Check out. <clears throat> Let me flip this around real quick. I'm going to show you something. Check out the stained glass window. I just love it how the light comes through it, lights up the room. Um, every time I like kind of like walk around the corner here, I always forget that it's there and you, you kind of walk around and you realize as you're walking through the door, like, wow, how cool is that? Anyway, it's morning. There's some frost on the ground. And as you can see, yeah, you can see it. Frost. It was a little below freezing last night. <clears throat> um, there's frost on the deck as well. And we're going to get busy today. Um, <clears throat> Got to work on putting up this windmill. Or it's a, a wind turbine. It's made for a uh, 24 volt system I think it's 1600 watts is what it puts out um, the thing with wind turbines is they don't consistently generate a certain amount of wattage it's, it, it's all dependent on how fast the wind is blowing but up here today it's pretty windy it's probably about 18 20 miles an hour and we got to put it up this tower here <clears throat> um, which is about 16 feet high and then with the pole the uh, <clears throat> with the pole it should be about 20 feet at its height. Also I have to do and it is cold out here right now the wind is blowing. I don't know if you can really tell. Uh, I can't really tell. <clears throat> but another thing I need to do is Oh, looks like my hot water's done. Should uh, I gotta keep an eye on that stuff? Anyway, another thing I need to do is install a fuse for this inverter. This inverter, 5,000 watt, 24 volt, and it should have a 250 amp fuse on it right now it has no fuse at all so you can see the the red <coughs> positive cable coming off going right on there there's no fuse at all um that's how i destroyed my last one i didn't have a fuse on it and uh, it got fried when i tried to use too much power with it so i'm gonna do that today also gonna put this this on off switch <coughs> just so i can control it a little bit more and uh gonna make myself some soup with this hot water i just heated up and we will see how it goes from there all right stay tuned by the way this is my breakfast today <laughs> a super meal chicken flavored soup saw it at the dollar store thought oh that might be good so We'll see what happens. Hey guys, so what I did is I went to Home Depot and I got some of these like one and a half by three quarters, I believe, or three eighths uh, and by eight foot long sticks. And I'm just gonna start putting them on and as I go. And, um, I'm just going to go as low as I can and eventually it'll create this kind of barrier here. And um, I'm going to do that all the way around and on the different edges here.
guys check this out <clears throat> this is it so completely done well i would say completely done for this part <clears throat> got it all cleaned up um like i said on that side i'm going to start using it for storage putting some of these things i'm um, just cleaning up around here um what's going to happen over here um there's going to be another deck that comes out to here, about four feet, goes back that way. There'll be a little stairway going up in here. And then right here, I'll continue some of this, these slats and fill in that gap, but there'll be a little stairway going up that way. So that is it. I am done for the day. I got to start heading home, get on the road, but I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out. It was just tedious. Um, especially with this incline, trying to figure out how to stagger. There was no method to the madness. I would just hold up the board there and uh, just figure out what looked suitable. And same thing over here. So that is it. All right, we'll talk to you guys later. See ya, bye.